Cheek TV, a hugely successful YouTube sensation with over 1 million video views and thousands of subscribers worldwide. As one of the UK's all-time top 100 comedians, the Purple Puppet's cheeky chops have been spotted with a host of celebrity friends, on blogs and forums across the internet, and even on TV. With his own range of products, from t-shirts for each of the series, to badges and even stamps, Cheeky has become a true icon for community-oriented YouTube blogging. You may be curious as to who is the brains behind the project. Well, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be following Gary Caperhorn, a 30-year-old YouTube vlogger from Kent. My name's Alex Brind, and this is Gary Caperhorn. Oh, it's going. Come in. <laughs> yeah, this is me in my pyjamas. This is the kitchen. Gary lives at home in Kent with his mum and dad. Although he did move away to university when he was younger, he came back due to suffering from panic attacks and anxiety. This was my brother's room, so my mum converted it into a dressing room with like wardrobes and wardrobes of clothes and stuff. More clothes. This is my room. What is that? That's from Pete, that's called Charlie, he gave him to me for Christmas. Because I've known Pete for a long time, so we do the whole Christmas thing. Keep calm and drink tea. Um, oh, and the, t my friend Tom bought me this, which is a giant cup because of the tea thing. Um, this is, is me and Pete. Is Tom a YouTuber? Uh, Tom is, yeah, he's uh, Tom Coolio and Pete's Kapow Vlogging. Me and Pete have been good friends, really close for like nearly two years. And I've known Tom for like a year, he's the other one. The other good friend. I don't really see my friends from uni and friends from home that often, mainly because a lot of my friends from home have, have grown up, moved out, um, and I've done the moving out thing, I went to uni and I went, sang abroad and everything, but they've moved out, moved out, and they've got kids, they've, they're married and everything like that. Um, so it's very difficult because they need to slot me in around their life, whereas the YouTube people that are younger and they've got gaps for me to fill um, and more often than not I've taken the role of like some people say the Skype therapist where people come to me with their problems and stuff and it makes me feel like I'm needed, like I'm useful um, whereas in reality I feel like I'm unwanted by society because I'm not working and I'm suffering and it's like I'm forgotten my um, wardrobe is Cheeky's Realm. <laughs> Little exclusive for you there. Millions of t-shirts. Um, we sunk Atlantis. Uh, um, there's quite a lot. There's an Ed Plant one. Barry Aldridge. <laughs> What's that? Blue skies. <laughs> so you see, Lady Gaga. Me and Tom did a load of videos on these. Boop, boop. <laughs> There's loads of like YouTube memorabilia in this room. So I just sit here um, most of my time working on stuff for Cheat TV or I don't know, I do spend a lot of my time here and because of the pills I'm often very tired. Um, so I will just lay here. Where are you burgers? Um, and just lie here sort of looking out. <laughs> You'll see in the daylight what my view is and I'll just lie here like thinking and coming up with random ideas for things. When you first start on YouTube, the numbers mean everything. It is a numbers game. Okay, the first few videos you do, you're in it for the love of it. My first couple of videos were on celebrity, and they were for a laugh. And my channel was centered around celebrity and fun, as the theme tune says. So, it's... It's important, because it's kind of a validation for me. Like, if 50,000 people watch it, it's like, I made something and it's been seen. So who are we calling now, Gary? I'm just calling Dr. Benji from YouTube. YouTube. And I wanted to chase a couple of people about this collab. I'm not going to ask Miles or Michael because I've got better things to do. And Charlie is there, but I don't think he'll be able to. 
Hello. Um, I'm just ringing you quick to see if you've heard about my Red Nose Day thing. Yeah, you'll be here with the noses. Yeah, have you got a nose? I haven't got a nose. Get some red lipstick and just write R-N-D on your cheek and then R-N-D on this cheek. Um, Mandy's trying to ring me about the video. And then from that, just do something silly to camera. When's the video for? The video is for the end of this week, but all the clips need to be in by tomorrow. Yeah, what kind of things do you want me to do? Just something stupid. You're a teenager. You do stupid things all the time. My email address is that, so oh, what... Yeah, that's simple enough. Yeah, just cheektv at gmail.com. And then if you send it to there... <laughs> Alright, I'll see you soon. See ya. Bye! Next. Mandy. Hey! You've done it? Yeah, I've just... As comic relief approaches, Gary has planned a community-based video in aid of the charity appeal. While collaborations aren't as popular on YouTube, Gary believes it brings the community together for a good cause and encourages upcoming YouTubers to get involved. Because I wanted, like, 50 seconds of the two minutes to be other people, like clips of them doing things. I'm ringing around hassling people now, and they're all like, Oh yeah, I was gonna... Okay, well I will speak to you soon. Send me a clip soon as, and then I'll know what to do with it. Alright? It is my main focus, it's a hobby, it's a job, um, it connects me to my friends, I met a lot of my friends through it, so it is the, sort of the provider of all really, and um, if YouTube went under and it disappeared, yeah I'd still have my friends, but that creative outlet, that, that used to be my performing, that used to be my songwriting and recording when I was like an, in, like an independent artist working for various mini labels and stuff. I would have no outlet for that and I would literally go crazy like like I did when I had a breakdown um, a couple of years ago. I would just go insane. Um, yeah, I just don't know what I'd do without it. So it seems like it takes a lot of kind of chasing people up. It's a lot kind of hassle. Of catching up with people and... Yeah, it's a lot of hassle doing collab videos which is why no one does them anymore. Because you can't really rely on people. Because people are... A lot of people are all about me, 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 me. Yeah. Even if you say it's for charity or whatever, they're all like, oh, I'll do it when I can. It's difficult. But, um, like, these people, Clark, Kat, that, they'll do it. Because they're my friends and it's like a favour to me. But it's people I don't know. And have you told these people what you want in the clips? No, I just said do something funny or silly. Because I wanted something... I wanted a mixture. Yeah. I want people to be themselves and just be like, whoa, I'm going to be red in it. I'm going to be painted, all, all of me is going to be painted red with a red nose on. Uh, Alright, let's just check the website. What you saying? This is the sort of time when I check, well, it's half, nearly half twelve. This is when I check all the American sites like Perez Hilton and things like that because the Mer Americans are up and lively, like, well, coming home from work. So, a lot of stuff happens online. And is this checking for video ideas? Video ideas, uh, my own interest in the celebrity culture. Don't care about no. no, don't care about people's kids. My s obsession with celebrity culture was to the point where I grew up, I originally, I was at Sylvia Young's agency, the sort of big agency for child actors and stuff when I was younger. I only went to the classes for a term because it cost so much money. Um, and I had to travel up there on my own because my mum and dad just sort of set me on the train because it was my thing I wanted to do. I didn't last long. Um, but I stayed on the agency till I was 17 and I did like, little extra bits and everything. But I didn't really fit in because a lot of them were like showy kids and I was from a normal, like comprehensive sort of state school. so. I turned up in my fake Ralph Lauren shirt and they all were sitting there in the real gear and they're like why is the horse on your Lo Ralph Lauren shirt upside down? Like, do you know what I mean? And it was like, get on princess! Like from the age of like four or five I was told I was a puff, I was a queer by kids at school. Like, we'll go past my primary school probably tomorrow um, and you can even see the, plot, the place where 
I was sort of pushed to the floor by four boys and told to kiss one of their trainers because I was a puff. But yeah, I just... <sighs> I don't know. I'm just... I'm a bit lost. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going through the celebrity websites and I am just clicking through. I always do the showbiz one first on Digital Spy. Um, it's funny, you know, they slag off the Katie Price and then they've got her advert for a new book everywhere. Because I've never had an actual boyfriend. Because my whole life, I've dedicated my life to performing. I did several shows when I was at school. I worked as well, like in Woolworths, local Woolworths and that. I did well in my A levels, I was really good at school. And like I did the prefect thing, I did all the extra stuff you could do. And yeah, I never had time for it. It was only because later in life, like when I was abroad singing, I had time to think, oh, actually, am I gay? Um, like I kissed the boy and was like, oh God, what is this? To hell. Gary takes 40 milligrams of sertanopram every morning, which acts as an antidepressant. He buys this from his local surgery. This morning, he has an appointment with his therapist there, who he sees every two weeks. Gary feels that he can talk openly with his therapist, Ray, and has been doing so since late 2009. going to see my therapist Ray who helped me deal with the anxiety and panic attacks and also it's like a way to offload. Um, yeah I think we're sort of running against time so keep up. This is it. Okay, right up to the line. 
I never fail to keep up with my demands. Me and you, we're bound for higher places. Keeping it real, keeping it true. This is what we. So, Gary, how do you think that went? things he said that I've thought about. I've got my prescription and everything, so I'll get that on the way home. One thing I forgot to mention was my dad, like just something that happened last night. Um, like came home after having a drink and everything. And it was that awkwardness that I've like grown up with when he's had a drink. And I just thought this pinpoints it exactly. Um, but yeah. This is my school, my primary school. And, uh, if you remember, I said to you about when I was forced to the floor to kiss the kids' shoes and that. See the three blue doors? Yeah. The one on the left, outside that blue door. That's where it went. You better know that it's all gonna be okay. Gary continued to show me around his old school, which he looks back on as a predominantly fond memory. He told me about how he likes to look back and reminisce, and one of the places that he finds it easiest to do this is his local coffee house. Look, I was seeing a guy, um, and I'm not seeing him now. It was like six weeks we dated for, and it wasn't what I wanted. And where, did, where did you meet him? I met him on the internet, on um, a little application called Grinder, And yeah, we got talking, we met up, had a drink in London. We met up again, went out again and again and again and again. And before I knew it, six, seven weeks had passed and we'd been seeing each other for quite a while. But the last week I was constantly like second guessing myself. This is the thing the anxious do. Always second guess yourself. My therapist, Ray, likes to call it um, thinking about thinking. So you're overthinking everything. Yeah, I just self-destructed, really. Like, not in his eyes. I just sort of ended it because it wasn't going anywhere. After years of craving the sort of relationship that, that Ashley and Pete have got and Clark and Hattie and people like that, Done, let's go. It's getting cold. Woo. There's so many people at the station waiting for a train to take them on some long journey far, far away. This is exactly what I'm like. I'll get back from therapy and get exhausted. I need a little charge up to pick me up. You seem to have a lot of like YouTube memorabilia and lots of like YouTube stuff just all around the house. That's not, that's not YouTube memorabilia, that's my um, ideas but it's where I rough out sketches and stuff for Sheik TV, look! It is written in my sort of script, like my handwriting, which is very, like, doctor writing, my mum says. With those day setups, and this is what we're going to film today. I say we, I. <laughs> It'll be me with my nose on and my little badge and my tea and the giggler just playing with it and just laughing. Gary writes, films, edits and uploads all of the Cheek TV episodes himself from his bedroom. Today is the big music video shoot for his Red Nose Day video. He has recorded a song featuring him and Cheeky and has spent over 50 pounds getting props and costumes for the occasion. Just Cheeky. There's me and Cheeky, a silly string, where I'm gonna get my mum off camera to sprouse with silly string. And then later on, I'm gonna just tax Cheeky with it. Um, there's the clockwork nose that goes along the bottom. I'm going to film me looking at that. There's balloons being thrown in. I've got like a hundred red balloons to blow up. So that's going to be fun. Right, I've got a load of balloons in my room. I want you to just chuck them at me. You two. Come on, do it. Come on. 
Are we? <laughs> Do you know balloons don't go very far? They might as well throw balls at you or something. I believe you fucking balls. You're not checking nothing out of anything other than balloons. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Yeah? You think that worked? No. It wasn't quick enough, was it? We've already got 20 balloons, what do you expect? Right, let's just do it once more. No, bollocks, sir. And then there's like us two lying in the balloons in slow motion, like hitting each other. Kind of like party in the USA, Miley Cyrus sort of thing. There's the YouTuber clips I've been um, trying to get hold of. They'll be slotted in. So that'll be it, and that's the full two minutes. Um, so yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. It isn't just messing about. Um, it has to be done right or it won't be done at all because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> it's not going through. <laughs> ah! Oh! Bob's gone on my light. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, for now, I'll just have to deal with one light. Because I don't have the luxury of going and buying them. So I guess the show must go on. Well, yeah. Right, now I need you to do my makeup. Oh, where's my makeup then? I need to be covered. So what are we doing now, Gary? We are... I'm getting redded up, because I said in my video I was going to be red for Red Nose Day. Um, and I'm going to perform my solo. No, don't squint your eyes, you should have lines. Well, it's definitely the right colour. You're coming out red then? Just the a bit. The silly spring's crap. Yeah. I'm not careful how he's going to start worshipping if you're unsafe then. Who's My friend. How? Is that enough now, this? Yes, plus. Thanks. All the bloody balloons everywhere. I don't know, I'm not all there. And that's why I'm seeing a therapist. I'm on the waiting list for psychotherapy. I'm taking loads of medication. But I'm getting there. And Cheeky's actually helping me do it in a weird roundabout way. So, if they actually care about me or give a shit, then they'll just let me get on with it. That's it. What, can you wash that gear off yet? Yeah. That's it! It's done. Finished. Tea time. I'm through with wasting my life on this community. Where do you things think like GTV will be in a year's time? And where do you think Gary will be? Good question. In a year's time, I think Cheap TV will still be going, even though I threaten it's not going to be. It won't have that many more subscribers. It will run um, to its 100th episode, which will be um, episode, it will be series 5. So I've enjoyed this series more than any series. Um, whether it be the video of my mum, whether it be the red nose day, messing around with the face paints and everything. It's been good, I've enjoyed it. Um, but where do I see Gary in a year? I want to be fixed, I want to be healed, I want to be back at work. I want to have stuff, I want my own place, I want to be with someone. Um, that's what I want. I can't say how I see myself because it will probably depress me and I'll just burst into tears. And as I always say, like we are on a journey, I don't care how old you are. Um, and everything changes, nothing really stays the same. So, it's just a sort of wait and see, really. Do you have anything to say to the people that watch you and to the people that have been subscribed to you, whether it through they be for a day, a month, a year since you began? 
What do you want to say to those people? Part of you wants to say to those people, Oh, JK! And be all like what they expect and what they want or what I perceive them to want. Part of me just wants to thank them for giving me a chance to perform and to do what is in my nature to do, which runs through me. It's like a thread of colour that runs through me. Um, yeah, and just thanks for supporting it and commenting and rating and doing all the things that they do. And the pictures of Cheeky and the cards and everything else, the tweets, the retweets and... It's just madness. I don't know why they do it, but I'm so glad they do it. Because together we've got something special, I think. Yeah.